Hello, my name is Laura Lee Johnson. I am a nurse practitioner and I am a student at Missouri State University. I'm working on my doctorate in nursing. I also work in a busy walk-in clinic in the Cape Girardeau Jackson area of Missouri. Today, I'd like to talk to you about reducing loneliness in older American adults. Prior to the pandemic of COVID-19 in 2020, it is estimated that one third of all Americans age 65 and older suffered from feelings of loneliness and depression. It is known that there is a strong correlation between isolation and depression. It is also known that untreated depression is the leading cause of suicide. Suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in Americans of all age group. During the pandemic of COVID-19 in 2020, older adults were recognized as, an, as a vulnerable population. They were at higher risk for se more severe disease and mortality if inflicted by the virus. One of the interventions implemented by communities was strict social distancing. An unintended consequence of social distancing was isolation of older Americans. Feelings of depression and isolation can have a negative impact on health and well-being. I would like to propose a um, project, um, which is a program which I have called Portables. The goal of this project is to decrease feelings of social isolation and to improve nutrition. I'd like to do this by expanding on an already existing, well-developed, successful, and well-accepted program called Meals on Wheels. I'd like to expand by forming a partnership with local businesses, organizations, and local health departments to improve goods and services. I would also like to open up eligibility to all Americans age 60 and older. Currently, criteria is... Um, adults 60 or older who are unable to prepare meals or are with a low uh, income. I don't want to exclude people who make a, a higher income um, because they are also at risk for uh, loneliness and depression. Portables is um, the transfer of food um, to the recipient in a touchless manner, maintaining social distancing, Volunteers wearing masks and using good hand hygiene. Volunteers are encouraged to initiate conversation and just boost the morale of the recipients. I would like to call it por uh, Porchables because um, it occurs on the porch. It is also a tip of the hat to the branded snack called Lunchables uh, and also um, a tribute to the term in the Urban Dictionary called poachables, which means awesome or something that is superior, something that is totally poachable, meaning that is worthy of being stolen because it's just so good. Um, I would like to tap into resources, including federal funding that should be made available through the passage of the support, Supporting Older Americans Act that was passed in March of this year, which does have objectives of um, in, improving nutrition and um, encouraging older Americans to live independently. So this is my project. I hope that you like it and think it's a good idea too.